during the BUY simulation course in August 2015, we built a traffic signal model using state charts, a variable, and a tick box control. And the purpose of this video is to actually just redo that example so that you have it as a reference. I'm using AnyLogic 7.2, the PLE or Personal Learning Edition. So let's create this little model of ours. I'm going to call it Traffic Signal. And I'm going to start with my presentation palette as I'm going to first draw my little robot or my traffic signal and I'm going to use the prefix sh for shape and the top one will be shape red initially everything will just be white next one will be shape amber And lastly, shape green. And I'm just going to add a rectangle around it all. So there's my little traffic signal. I'm going to add, before I start with the actual state chart that will guide the behavior of this tra uh, traffic signal, I'm going to add a variable from the agent palette and this is going to be called variable power. It is of type boolean and the initial value will be true. And the nice thing about any logic 7.2 is that you can just right click on that variable and create a control for it. And in this case, the name or the label is just going to be power. So let's just add that to below my traffic signal. So my tick box power is linked to the variable power and I will later on use that variable in my state chart. I strongly recommend that you go to the help function of any logic and just search for state chart and then one of your first topics will actually be a very good introduction to state charts, what it is, how it defines behavior and all of the state chart elements. We will address a number of them in this example, but there's a lot more depth that one can actually go into and model very complex behavior using state charts. So state charts have their own palette, and I'm going to start with a state called red. And I use the prefix st. And whenever I enter this particular state, I want to change the shape of the red light of, the, of that particular globe to red. Currently it's white. And I know I've called that something with an SH because it is a shape. And that is the prefix that I usually use. I can just press control space and it'll pick up my shapes that I've defined. And I will say shape red dot set full color and it takes a color as an argument and in java we're going to use color dot control space and red is a predefined color that i can access as soon as i leave that state as soon as i'm no longer red i want that shape to also turn back to white so i call on shape red again and call its method set full color dot white so let me add the next state after the state was red the light typically turns 
green. I'm going to call this state green. And as soon as I enter the state, and I'll look at the transitions from one state to another a little bit later, as soon as I move into the state green, I want the green shape to actually, or the green light of my signal to also turn green. So I call on shape green, and I call its method set full color. using the predefined color green. As soon as I leave the state, I'm going to set the full color back to white. And lastly, I'm going to add a state for amber calling it ST Amber. And as soon as I enter, I call on Shape Amber and set the full color, in this case, to predefined color yellow. And once I leave that state, the exit action should be to set the full color back to white again. Now to add the transitions. From red, I can only go to green. And here I'm going to use uh, a timeout. So the, this transition will be triggered by by a kind of a specific time delay and in this case I'm going to make it 20 seconds let's make it a little bit longer 30 seconds there's no action to actually be taken uh, I can call this transition using the prefix TR and I'm going to call that red to green and I want the name to actually be shown and I can just drag that to the side I'm going to add another transition from green to amber maybe just move this a little bit inwards this transition will be called tr green to amber the timeout should also trigger the transition and again oops it should be after 30 seconds show the name and just change the name to a more appropriate location so lastly the transition that i'm going to add is from amber to red call it transition amber to red and here the timeout should be much shorter, only about five seconds, because usually the amber light is much shorter, and I'm going to say show the name. But all of these states will only work and happen while there is power. So these states, red, green, and amber, forms part or is enclosed within a more general state, which I'm going to refer to oops, as operational state. Operational. And this will enclose the inner states. And you'll see, as soon as I drag the state so that it covers more, or it covers internal states, it actually loses its yellow full and it becomes transparent. Now, whenever my model starts up, I want the state chart entry point to be operational. So that, and, um, so that should be the default, is that uh, at startup, the state chart is, is actually operational. And the name that we give for this entry point will also be the name with which we call 
the state chart as a whole. I'm going to use the prefix again ST and call this state signal. But if it is operational, which one, red, green or amber, is going to be the initial state? And for that, let me just change, move that name over to the other side. To determine which of these internal states will be the initial one, I use the initial state pointer, which I can just drag to my model. And it points now to red. So the initial state will be red. As soon as it becomes operational, I will be in state red. Now, I want to add another state. And for a lack of better word wording, I'm going to call this power failure. failure. And I will move from state operational to state power failure at any point in time. But in this case, it will not be triggered by a timeout, but it will be triggered by a specific condition. And this condition must evaluate to either true or false. So if I'm operational, my state chart will continuously check as soon as this transition, which is trans transition power goes out, or power failure, which is a transition, as soon as that condition evaluates to true, the power should actually um, or it implies that the power is out and then I move out of the operational state into state power failure. So what is this condition? I want to link it to my variable power. But power, if that is true, it means I do have power. So to negate that, I use the exclamation mark in front. So the exclamation mar mark means not. So if variable power is false, it means that I do not have power. So negating it means I don't not have power, which means that will actually eva evaluate to true as soon as I switch off my power. In a similar way, once power is restored, it must also check for the condition. And as soon as power is back on again, and I can show these names as well. Power returns. As soon as I find myself in the failed or power failure state, my entire model will keep checking or the state chart will keep checking and looking when power is returned, as soon as power is switched back on again. And this should give me a model. Let me just build it and check that we don't have any errors. Everything to be, seems to be fine right now. So we can run the model. And we can see initially it does start in state operational. It counts down 30 seconds that it will stay in red. And you can see that the traffic signal itself is colored uh, red right now. So we just wait for it to get to zero. And then it should move to state green and start counting again from 30 down to zero. And it does. As soon as it gets to state green, it turns the red light, red light back to white, it turns the green light to green, and it counts down from 30 again. So let me just speed this up a little bit. It should then transition to amber and back to red again. So what happens? By default, I do have power. See what happens when I switch off power. Variable power evaluates to false now. So if variable power is false and I take the negation that is true, I move to state power failure. And as soon as I switch this back on again, transition power returns will pick it up and I should move back into my initial state, which is red. 
Indeed, I go to Operational, and it starts with red again, counting back from 30. I can switch it off at any point. As soon as I switch it back on again, it restarts in red and starts counting back from 30. Goes to green, to amber for a short while, and then red again. There you go. Happy modeling.